Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today is January 1st, 2020. And it's so fresh, it's so new. The year is, I mean, I still got the tags on it. I mean, literally, I still got the tags on the shirt that my girlfriend got me for my Christmas present. All right, well, it was one of the many Christmas presents that she got me, but yeah. So we're not only are we um, so new with everything, we got a new camera that we're gonna be testing out today, see how all this works, but what are we gonna be talking about today? Today we're gonna be talking about proof of keys. We're back to Bitcoin talk, we're back to you know financial um, knowledge talk, we're back to all that stuff, all right? Because you're watching this on my channel, my original channel. As you guys already know, we had a little bit of a situation over Christmas with YouTube and uh, it all got resolved, but in the meantime, I decided to create another channel and put all of my travel content on the other channel and um, we're gonna be discussing all kinds of things today. Um, but today's episode is going to be talking about proof of keys, okay? And um, before we get started on the proof of keys, I want to give you guys a quick schedule, um, I guess, uh, rescheduling, all right, for this year coming up. Now, I will be doing daily uploads, but it's going to be coming in different forms and different channels, okay? What do I mean? This channel, every single Wednesday, which is today, as you're watching this, we're going to be doing a live stream. Now, there's no live stream today because... Well, again, um, as you guys are probably um, also in the same boat, we're waking up with a major hangover this morning. So I recorded this the other day. Um, in fact, I recorded this the night before. Um, I'm waiting for the guest to show up. <laughs> and what are we, um, um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this because again, I normally um, do daily recordings of uh, episodes, but since uh, I've been away for a few days here and there, um, yeah, I'm a little rusty, but let's get back to uh, what we were going to be talking about. So I'm going to be doing uh, literally three to four uploads per channel per week, okay? Depending on the situation, depending on a lot of things. But basically, this channel is going to get the live stream on Wednesday. We're going to get a Friday upload. We're probably going to get a Sunday upload, and we're getting our Monday motivation upload, okay? So we got the Monday motivation. We got the Wednesday live stream. We got Friday, it could be Bitcoin, it could be finance, it could be um, world news. And then we got Sunday, um, might be the Instagram stories, might be another episode like Friday talking about, you know, all the things that are going to be happening. We have a million things happening and 2020 going forward is going to be crazy lit. If you thought 2019 was insane, 2020 is going to be even more insane. Now, let's talk about proof of keys real quick. I don't want to get you guys, you know, all over the place, you know, so three minute mark, all right? We're gonna start talking about proof of keys now. So, what is proof of keys? What, am I, what do I talk, what do I mean by proof of keys? Well, look, basically, this is what, another reason why Bitcoin, sorry, wrong, wrong corner. This is why Bitcoin is so awesome. Because what proof of keys is, which is, by the way, January 3rd, okay? So it's two days away. Proof of keys is literally that every single crypto owner does a bank run. All right. Literally, it, it means that every single owner of crypto, you know, um, has their keys with them, their private keys with them. And they literally, if they have, sorry, I keep saying literally so many times, but if they have their money in an exchange, if they have their money on, uh, in custody of another person, you know, meaning if they have it on Coinbase, if they have it in the cash app, if they have it, um, in a, in a Bitcoin exchange or crypto exchange, to, on January 3rd is the day in which everyone, by tradition, is you know supposed to take that money out and take those Bitcoin out, take those that crypto out, all right? And then redeposit it, you know what I mean? If that's what you wanna do. But basically, this is just a friendly reminder to everyone in the Bitcoin community, everyone in the crypto community, that we have the power to demand our money um, at a moment's notice. Now, if you are out there right now and you're saying, oh, but Jose, I'm watching this and it's already too late because it's going to take me three to four days to get the money off of the exchange and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, so my answer to you is this, which I'm sure you've already heard a million times. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Again, not your keys, not your crypto. Okay. And that's basically it. Because look, guys, you might have money in the bank, 
But if you really look at the fine print, that money does not belong to you. You gave it to them so that they can hold it. But if they lose it, oh well. They don't owe you nothing. And the same thing goes with a safety deposit box and so on and so forth, all right? And well, and basically, you know, right now, if you keep your Bitcoin with the custody owner, you know, meaning, you know, the person that you bought it from, you know, and all this other stuff, then again, you don't really own it. It's not until you have that Bitcoin in your wallet, until you actually have that Bitcoin or crypto in your hard wallet, you know, which is something like the size of a, of a USB drive or, you know, or, you know, something very similar to a USB drive, but it's not a USB drive, but it's, that's called a hard, cold wallet. Okay. It's called a cold wallet. You, if, if you have it in something that it's a cold wallet, it's yours, you know, meaning that no one can take it away from you unless they steal your password. And what is your password for anyone out there that doesn't know what these things are? That is literally your 12 to 15 to 20 word phrase okay that encompasses your password and that's basically it this is why another reason why bitcoin is so amazing and, and it's not just about bitcoin it's any coin this year is going to be the year of privacy because we already have heard from you from the u.s regulators sorry <laughs> uh we've already heard from u.s regulators that um they are going to go after privacy coins hard meaning if they catch you with privacy coins, you're going to be in big trouble. But it's the same thing. It's like if they catch you with weed, you're in big trouble. If they catch you with uh, drugs, you're in big trouble. If they catch you with so many things, if they catch you with certain, you know, things, you know, you're going to be in big trouble. But that's the thing, though. You know, they can make something like privacy coins illegal. They can make Bitcoin illegal. They can make all of these things illegal. But the thing is that they can't ban it. You know, they, they can ban it, they can make it illegal, they can do all these things, but it's unbannable, meaning that there's nothing that any law can do, okay, that will literally affect Bitcoin or crypto or anything like that. Maybe other cryptos, but definitely not Bitcoin, definitely not privacy coins like Monero and others out there. Um, but basically, you know, right now what proof of keys is, if you are in the crypto Bitcoin space, you already know what proof of keys is. Basically, all it is is that you are taking control of your coins because there's a lot of you guys out there that are currently trading or you guys have it on something like Coinbase or have it on something like that. And uh, yeah, it's not, again, you know how the adage already goes. It's not your Bitcoin, not, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. And again, guys, you know, if you are watching this and you cannot get your Bitcoin immediately right now, this should be a reminder, okay, for not just next year, but, you know, for moving forward. Because again, it's just like uh, what happened to me with my YouTube channel. If you are not prepared, if you don't have some sort of a backup plan, some sort of a, you know, anything, then what's going to happen is that one day it could all disappear and there's no one to claim it to. You got no one to, you know... Um, to, you know, to say, hey, where's my coins? Where's my money? Where's my anything? Okay, Pass, wait. You take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, program. man. You ain't so, got yeah. the answers. The banks have total control of your money. Look, for the longest time, you know, for anyone out there that's uh, over 30 or 40 years old, 50, 60 years old, you know, the banks were pretty trustworthy. But in the last, like, 15, 10, 15 years, you know, banks are not trustworthy anymore. And um, as we, if you're watching this from another country, you already know that you don't trust the banks and you've already seen, you know, the atrocities of the banking system literally shutting you out of your own account overnight. And in, uh, in many cases, you know, with, uh, with the, with, you know, with uh, the scenarios of like hyperinflation, you know, basically, let's just say that you have $10,000 in the bank. Overnight, they close you out of your bank account, you and everybody else. They say we're going to reevaluate the, the dollar or the currency because X, Y, Z reason. And so when you go to the bank, instead of having $10,000, that money is now worth $1,000. You're still going to have $10,000, but you'll have $1,000. So it'll be things like that. Bitcoin protects you from that. Gold and silver protect you from that. Um, other scenarios in which the bank can shut you out of your own account, you know, let alone the, the devaluation or reevaluation of your money, you know, but just the fact that, you know, they can lock you out. Same thing, if you don't, if you right now have your money on, ex on an exchange and it takes you several days to get it out, you know, uh, that should be a very big, very, uh, a very big red flag as to really, I mean, do you even own your coins? 
And that's the thing. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys with horror stories of you guys trying to take your money off of, uh, you know, Kraken or trying to take your money off, uh, you know, XYZ exchange. And uh, yeah, you don't even know you're even gonna, you're even gonna get that money or coin. So a few years ago, this guy, Trace Mayer, which is one of the crypto, I mean, one of the Bitcoin OGs, Mr. Trace Mayer, he started this thing called Proof of Keys. And um, again, what it basically boils down to is the fact that if you know you don't have your private keys with you, you don't have your coins. And what do I mean by that? If you have your private keys, and that means that you have your coins either on your phone, on your computer, on a USB drive, but you have them on you, okay? Now, if you have them on a USB drive, now, it's not a USB drive, it's called a hard wallet, so something else we'll talk about in another episode. You know, um, but if you have it in a cold wallet, then basically um, that's like the most, that's the best, most secure way to have it, all right? Um, outside of the cold wallet, if you have it on your computer, if you have it on your phone, if you have it in other things like that, then yeah, it can get hacked just like anything else can get hacked, all right? But if you have it in, your, in, your, in, in a hard wallet or even better, if you're a hardcore Bitcoin enthusiast and you just have your password, again, nobody can ever access those coins. No one can ever access that money ever, 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 unless they get that phrase. And what is that phrase? Well, the password isn't something like, uh, you know, um, IBM 348, you know what I mean? Or, you know, Johnny Ice Cream 79. You know, it's that's not the password for your coins. Basically, how it works is that when you have a password, it's, you know, it's random words. It's like, here, I'm just going to pick random words. Super, March, January, Peace, Joy, Zoo, um, bro, uh, Broham, sorry, anyways. And so... All these words put together encompass your password and they have to be in a specific order. And so that's why if you have like a 12, 15, 20 word phrase, you know, and it's not a sentence, it's just random words. Um, that is like, I mean, that, that is a very, very uncrackable password. And again, it's random words like pencil, potato, chips, sugar, beans, you know, like that, you know. And so that's the thing, you know, that's another reason why. If all of a sudden you have your coins on an exchange or you have your coins on like the cash app, you know, for example, I got I got some coins on the cash app. I'm going to take them out and put them on my hard wallet in in uh, on January 3rd in order to, you know, do um, the whole tradition, you know, um, do the bank run. Because as much as I trust the cash app and all that good stuff, the reality is, is that what it says on the cash app I have is just a proxy. All right. Because they don't provide me with private keys. And so since they don't provide me with private keys, that means that I don't really own those coins. They own the coins. And until I ask for those coins, meaning I, you know, I go to the ATM and I take those coins out, or I just say, hey, can you transfer these coins to my account, my hard account, the one with my password, until I do that, I don't own those coins. So Cash App could just, you know, go belly up tomorrow and I lose those coins. Or they can literally shut me out of my account and if they want, they can lose those, you know, I don't have access to those coins and so on and so forth. Just like the same thing that happens to a bank. You know, me and Christian were watching uh, um, uh, Trading Places the other day. That's a great Christmas movie, by the way. But yeah, she'd never seen it before. And we were, um, you know, there was that part, you know, when uh, Winthorpe, at the beginning of the movie, when he got shut out of his bank account, you know, one which he had, you know, a lot of money in. But, you know, just because they didn't want to do business with him anymore because he was uh, an unsavory character all of a sudden, they just shut him out of his account and froze all his accounts. So that's why we have Bitcoin, why we are talking about gold and silver, why we're talking about these things and why we talk about not, uh, about proof of keys day, you know, because again, this is why it's very important because right now, this whole bank run situation, not only is it really not accessible, it's like most people are not woke enough to even, you know, gather to do this whole bank run situation. You know, to your bank, you know, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, what have you. You know, so, and by the time that someone out there, you know, by the time you guys actually do get woke, all right, to the point where, you know, you might consider doing a bank run, you know, you're already, you're, you already don't have your money in the bank and you already have it in a hard asset like Bitcoin or gold, silver or something else. Or even, it's, I mean, again, it's safer to just have cash under your mattress. And there's a reason you know, why it's illegal to have money in your house. 
if, in case you guys don't know, it's illegal for you to have more than $10,000 cash on you. And it's funny because, yeah, $10,000 cash might have been a lot, you know, many years ago, but now $10,000 cash is really not that much amount of money, for reals. That's just the down payment on certain items out there, for crying out loud. You know, so, and um, that law's still there, and they better not catch you with $10,000. In fact, if you deposit anything over $10,000, then the, the alarm sounds. A lot of people, they deposit 909000 I mean, 900 I mean, $9,999 in order to avoid uh, these alarms and things like that. But yeah, you know, these things are real and they're only going to get realer as um, the year goes on and the years go on. Because yeah, again, guys, you're watching this on January 1st, 2020. Um, but guys, there's a lot of things coming our way. All right. That's for sure. All right. So guys, please. Um, today is the first episode of the brand new channel. One second, guys. As I was saying, guys, this is a very, very important uh, video because I was going to wait um, a few days before I started posting my first video on this new channel, but I mean, on, on this old channel and start, you know, kicking this off. But, you know, the reality is, is that I can't stop doing this. You know what I mean, I can't even take a break. I can't stop. Okay. And um, like I said, I'm waiting for my girlfriend and friends to show up and I still want to do this. All right. But I'm going to finish and start wrapping this up. But just a reminder, guys, this channel is going to be dedicated to talking about Bitcoin, talking about decentralization, talking about technology, talking about um, finance, talking about, um, you know, the stock market, talking about politics, talking about world news and world events. Again, as you guys already know, I talk about everything here. No subject is untouched. Knowledge. And especially going forward and um, if there are certain episodes out there that are too hardcore for YouTube then we're gonna post them on BitChute and we're gonna post them on other avenues and I'll just post a quick video here to remind you to go to BitChute so you can get the full episode and we're gonna be doing a lot of things but I'm not I'm not holding back any further 2020 that's it guys you know balls to the wall all day so again we already, you already know we do Monday motivation here all right we do um, education here, all right? Whether it's financial education. And again, you know, guys, you know, take all this for, for entertainment purposes and all that stuff. I had to put a disclaimer down there and everything because you already know how it is and how things are gonna be going from, the, you know, from this moment forward, all right? Um, again, today is January 1st. Today is the first day of the new YouTube rules taking effect. So I don't even know if this video is even gonna be played. So there's so many things, but so regardless, guys, 2020 and beyond is going to be amazingly great. This is the first video of the year. Um, tomorrow, again, if you want all the links, all the links are please, they're all going to be at the bottom of every single video. But tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading a bike ride, all right, a Mexico video. I'm um, down, well, you'll see it tomorrow, but it's on the other channel. You need to subscribe to the other channel down below in order to watch it, okay? No more Mexico content here, no more travel content, no more cooking, no more anything here. All we're gonna be talking about here is just all the stuff that is on my mind, all right? Like I said, like I've already talked to you guys, like I already said already here, right? Knowledge. Technology, um, politics, you know, all these other things, all right? And um, it's gonna be like my personal vlog as well. We're gonna do story time. We're gonna do Monday motivation. We're, we already know all the content that is gonna come out of this channel, okay? It's the stuff that I've been already pre, you know, producing and creating for this channel. The only thing that's changing is that, is that there's no more travel and no more food content. That is on the other channel. Link is at the bottom of the description, okay? So guys, I know this is already long episode because I wanted to keep it short, but I can't help myself. You know me, all right? Um, but I want to quickly remind you guys that every day going forward in this year, and it's literally, I'm going to be constantly reminding you guys of all the new platforms I'm going to be I'm on and all the new platforms I am going to be on. You know, meaning I'm already on Library, I'm already on BitChute, I'm already on Minds.com, I'm already on a bunch of. Uh, other uh, other platforms out there, but there are going to be other platforms that I'm going to want to join and I'm going to be on. And um, please, you know, just um, um, stay tuned. I'm going to be updating my website so that you guys had know everything about where to find me, no matter what happens. Um, 
and again guys you know it's gonna be a really really fun ride i'm not expecting you guys to subscribe to everything i'm not expecting you guys to follow me everywhere but hey you know it, it, it's all there you know just in case one day you don't see me all right and that's why i'm trying to keep a schedule on this channel and all that stuff because again if all of a sudden you see me missing my schedule for more than one day in a row then you already know something's wrong and again just in case they shut this channel out again you know where to find me you're gonna find me on the other channel immediately and I'm uh, even though I have a schedule meaning I'm gonna be uploading cert on certain days here meaning I'm gonna be uploading on Mondays Wednesday is a live stream we got Fridays and we got Sunday um, things can change because if I make a video that blows up I might not upload the, the following day in order to not mess up with mess the algorithm you know and then vice versa you know same thing with the mexico content over there so like you already know what's up guys we're going to be doing a lot of different things a lot of uh, awesome content but there's going to be daily uploads so if you don't see nothing on this channel and you don't see nothing on the other channel then maybe check bit shoot all right check the community tab check all right now again this is not for everybody you know this is for you know, for all you hardcore fans out there, for all you fans that really like my content, hey, I'm hardcore fans of a lot of YouTubers out there. And uh, and I understand, um, you know, and I'm just casual fans of others out there. So again, I'm sorry if I'm going long with um, everything I'm talking about here, but it's just a quick reminder of, um, you know, all these changes, you know, eventually by the end of next, of the end of this month, by the time February rolls around, I'm not going to be talking so much about all this stuff. And it's, going to be a little bit more streamlined all right but please guys help me on the other channel if you guys are here for the mexico content if you guys are here for the travel content um and you guys really love that stuff just go subscribe over there even if you're not but you're curious about it or you, you kind of enjoyed it go subscribe over there i need to get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours viewed in order to uh, start getting that um, channel monetized and have it really blow up again the monetization isn't about the money it's about um, having YouTube show my videos to more people you know if it's monetized they show it if it's not they don't that's basically how it works all right so guys we're already at over 130 um, or 125 I don't know something like that 125 130 subscribers over there um, we've already making you know a lot of uh, we're already watching a lot of uh, hours over there and um, again tomorrow brand new video coming from there we're doing a lot of awesome content whether it's on the bike whether it's um, walking around whether it's doing you know brand new videos um, whether I'm cooking whether I'm showing you um, around the city you already know what's up whether I'm, I'm giving you guys throwback Thursdays and showing you guys other episodes you know um, from when I traveled through Seattle traveled around the country and so on and so forth we're gonna be sharing a lot of really cool stuff on the other channel so please don't miss out and the same thing goes for this channel we're gonna be doing a lot of really cool awesome fun stuff on this channel and uh, Lambo's around uh, he's actually visiting family in Wyoming right now okay I know you guys thought that Lambo was Mexican but he's actually uh, he's American too so he's, he's in Wyoming visiting family roaming around with all of his other you know horse friends and stuff so but uh, he'll be back and don't forget on the, the next live stream all right is the eighth all right so all right as planned we're still going to be doing the live stream on the eighth all right so please don't miss out next wednesday is the live stream so guys thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate you guys i love you guys oh man sorry i went super crazy long but hey that's why i love you guys because you guys get me all right and i hopefully well i get you well i don't know we get each other all right guys you already know the deal don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please Hit that bell icon on this channel, on the other channel, so that you don't miss a thing, all right? And uh, guys, hope you guys have an amazing start to your year. Hope you guys had an amazing end to 2019. And guys, it's going to be lit as fuck. So uh, I can't wait to get this party started. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys manana on the other channel. Peace.